Hello and welcome to the G-Log for the 18th of October 2015. I am Gary and Raven. I'm joined today by Evan. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about Payday, or Payday 2, and their developers Overkill. So uh, they've been making some questionable decisions recently, haven't they? Yeah, so um, we're big Payday fans, as you'll know if you've watched uh, our Payday the Heist series. So um, we, we're certainly not unfamiliar with the games, and we play them a lot in our spare time. But their um, their recent decisions didn't make us very happy, so we thought we'd uh, have a bit of a moan about it together, really. I think that's the, the general yeah, idea. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, but before we get into what they've been doing very recently, we'll just give a very, very brief overview of the last, what is it, three years? Yeah, three years, I think. Yeah, released 13th of August 2013. So, two and a half years. Uh, so, Payday 2 came out. This is our, off the back of Payday 1, which is a, a relatively small game in comparison and a lot less adventure, uh, adventurous. Payday 2 added a whole slew of features like um, mask customization, uh, weapon customization, um, skill customization, and stealth. Which you'd think would be proper stealth. standard in a, a stealth game. So it added all of these features, and from Payday One carried over a very dedicated fan base. Uh, and over, I, I don't know how long it was to the first Crime Fest. I suppose it was about a year and a half. It was a year ago. Yes, yeah. This is the second Crime Fest now. So yeah. So about a year and a half, a year. Sorry, about a year ago, they became the largest Steam group. Because of their um, their campaigning for this thing called Crime Fest, which is a, an annual event where they just add a load of new features, some new, some paid, mostly new, I think, in Crime Fest, Mo- mostly free. Sorry, in Crime Fest. Yeah, that was the plan anyway. Mm. And uh, they they campaigned, and it was like, if we get this many followers, we'll release this, and blah blah blah. It was a very ingenious strategy. And it led to them having the most popular Steam group, which I think is still the case. Fast forward a bit, uh, and they've been adding DLC constantly. That's not an over-exaggeration either. It really is. Every, every I don't know, month or so, there's something else for you to buy. Hmm. And these are, what, just a few guns. In in pounds, it's what, four pounds, five pounds? Uh, yeah, um... Mo- generally three ninety nine for the gun packs, four ninety nine for the heists. Um, they're all on sale at the moment, so it's a bit harder to tell. But um, yeah, yeah, three or four pounds generally. So a gun pack would add maybe three or four new weapons, some new masks, uh, and then the heist. It's a whole new heist. Some are worth the money, some are not. But anyway, that's that's the DLC, and there is fucking tons. How much did you say there was? How many DLCs? I counted it up quickly earlier, and I got the number 27 paid, so that's not including the free ones. Right. Uh, Isn't there a thing on Steam where you can see the total price? Oh, but we're in a sale at the moment. Uh, yeah, so. it's currently £20.18, and 18 pence, but that's the sale price. I think. That's the sale price? I think. Um, I'm not sure. Does the Steam add all DLC to cart include sale prices? I'm not sure. But um, it certainly comes to quite a lot of money if you buy yeah. more when they're new. That's the sale price because they're about a pound each and there are so many of them. That's so right, most yeah. of these are three quarters off. In fact, all of them are three quarters off. So that's 80 pounds. Yeah, something like that. 80 pounds total DLC. Plus the game. It's about 100 pounds in general if you want to play the game and everything with it. And that is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. I've I've never seen a game with such rampant DLC because uh, there is it. They're, they're they're proper DLCs as well. Uh, they're all on the store. Uh, they're all separate entities, and they've all been promoted separately. So it's not like they're the little like character packs you get in fighting games or something where it's like oh forty p for this extra character in their story. It's a whole separate thing each for like four quid. Yeah, there is the um, there is the game of the year edition, but you know we're sort of mainly talking about people like us that have bought the game before these DLCs were out, and we've collected them over the years. And mm. we, I mean, we've spent a lot of money over that time. Does uh, the game of the year edition include 
It doesn't look like it includes a lot of the stuff. It's, I guess it's everything from the point that the Game of the Year edition was released. 24 uh, items. So not all of it. You'd still have to buy some more. And recently, uh, with Crime Fest 2, they have finally gone too far, which has led us to do this. So, uh, Evan, do you want to take over here? Yeah, well, we've both been saying for a long time that there are so many DLCs and, uh, you know, where is the point where people will stop buying this stuff? And it didn't seem to be hitting that point. And I think we finally hit it, and that's because they've come away from DLCs and they've now introduced microtransactions in a gun skin system similar to that of CSGO, if any of you have played that. So you uh, have to get yourself a a safe, I think they call it. You have to get yourself a safe. They're not that expensive, 20p maybe. I don't know if they drop. Um, I'm not sure of all the details of it yet. But to open that safe, you need a drill, and the drill costs uh, £1.60. As I understand it, they they you can get them in the cards at the end right, of the Right, okay. So you can get those safes for free, but you will have to pay your drill price, which is about one pound sixty. Um, so that's for your random chance to get any item. It could be rubbish. It could be they're all tradable on the Steam market, so it could be worth two, three p, as it generally is. You'd uh, you'd be very lucky to get anything worth a lot. It's a very similar system to the CS:GO one, with different tiers of weapons, different rarities. Um, they basically just lifted the system, I think. I did have a quick snoop on the game yesterday to find out if this microtransaction thing was true. But it's changed so much in, like, the months since I was last on the game, I can't tell what anything is on the on the menu anymore. Yeah. I, I went into the, the like, customization, the inventory, and it's like, I have no idea what any of this is. Admittedly, I've not been following the update, so it's possible it was explained in that, but... It's been like a month, and I can't find my way around it. And I have uh, 287 hours in this game. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I have 515 hours. It's a long time. It's by far my most played game. And we've spent hours and hours playing this together before the sort of recent updates. But we have lost faith a bit, so we've not been playing it recently. Yeah. Um, But on the the subject of the microtransactions, I think they're... um, They've hit this point now that finally people are saying we don't want to pay any more money for things in the game. Um, and there's the, there's sort of two major issues with this because I'm sure people are, are listening or people have seen this news and they're thinking, well, what's the big deal? You can just decide whether or not to spend your money on this, uh, this cosmetic upgrade. It's your choice. You know, it's the same as CSGO and games like that. You don't have mm-hmm. to have these sparkly, shiny guns. You can uh, you can just use the default ones, but there there are two sort of things that go against that. The first is that some of the skins include mods, so they effectively enhance the stats of the gun. Now, I'm not fully sure if you can replicate them or not. If you can replicate the mod additions, then okay, maybe it's not too pay to win. But some yeah. people are arguing that because you could unlock a skin, you could open it in a safe, and it could give you bonuses to your weapon. Some people are arguing that's turning it into a pay-to-win kind of model. Mm. Um, I suppose that's up to individual interpretation and opinion. To be honest, this is all very new, and with the sort of the way we're feeling, this is this this may sort of dampen our argument a bit. But the way we're feeling towards this game. I at least don't want to play the game and and work out exactly how all of these little changes have affected it. I don't want to spend an hour going on like random play and it's like, oh, this person has a sparkly gun and they're doing slightly better than me. I I I can't be bothered to sort through all of that stuff. And to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to look at the inventory screen after I went on. I I found the Steam inventory, but obviously I have nothing in there. Yeah. I think uh, dedicated players can spend time doing this, but for the majority of us, it's it's just sapped our enthusiasm. We just mm. can't be bothered with this whole new system. And uh, to be honest, I've been feeling like that for a while. They keep adding characters, and I've been ranting for a long time about Payday 2's stupid bloody characters with their stupid <laughs> bloody stupid useless bloody John Wick. Yeah, useless John Wick. Because that... that... <laughs> Was that a year ago then? Because oh, that, that was last Crime Fest, wasn't it? I can't, I can't remember. It must have been actually. 
time does fly. But since we've had, oh, well, there are four character packs. John Wick was free. So there's... there was uh, John Wick, um, uh, Hoxton came straight after that. Yes. Hang on, let's see if I can pull up the DLC list. John Wick, Hoxton, Clover. Clover, yeah. Uh, Dragon, Dragon. Yeah, however you say that. Sokol and Yakuza. That's right, yeah. Other packs. And there was Bonnie as well. So, I mean, we've been saying this for a while. We don't feel these characters make sense in this game. Mm. Um, from Payday the Heist, you had this tight-knit, secretive, super-organized criminal organization for crew members and Bane, your uh, leader, organizer, whatever. And he's he's gone now. The uh, the guy who voiced him is no longer part of the country. Uh, country company. <laughs> part of the con- country. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's left the country, that's it, it's like, <laughs> fuck this game, I'm leaving. Yeah, so we have lost Bane now, but that, that was our original cast, and coming into Payday 2, we had a new Hoxton, he was called Hoxton, they now renamed him to Houston, so we, we yeah. kind of accepted that, because it, it was just something, we were glad to have the old Hoxton back, so having an extra character, we put up with that. Um, but ever yeah. since everything that's been added, just... Um, doesn't make sense to us in this payday universe. So if if you've watched uh, co-op payday, which will be linked to the end, uh, is our series where uh, Evan, me, and a couple of others played through the original co- uh, Payday the Heist game and sort of did it in character. We were planning to, and I I think I even put at the end, continued in co-op payday too. I I'm not sure I could bring myself to do a co-op payday 2 series with the decisions they've been making and i actually got um message by um by by a fan who's got me on steam and he said look i don't care if you do a, a payday 2 series anymore because they've added microtransactions and for for start i'm glad that it's not just us who are going this is a stupid idea yeah yeah and i'm i'm so glad to to Go on, like my activity feed on Steam, and see comments in the um, like the payday update. And there's somebody who's done two middle fingers in punctuation. <laughs> so much <laughs> of that. <laughs> I'm glad people are finally taking a bloody stand against this because they've been doing it for far too long. Yeah, so some people have been in the update comment section moaning about far too many DLCs and. Um... All this kind of thing, accusing Overkill of snatching money and everything. They've been doing it for a while, but this Mm. latest one has really brought the community out. Uh, Really. I mean, to to give some stats on that, the the game on Steam, including one of mine, has now had 20, something like 20,000 negative reviews in one day. Wow. In one day. (laughs) It says it is still currently rated as very positive because there are 145,000 positive reviews from over the years. But uh, yeah. just if you go and check out that, that review section today, it's full of negative reviews, because people are just not happy about this. They're just not interested in this game anymore. They've, they've been tipped over the edge with uh, with the money grabbing, as, as some people mm. see it. I've just noticed in one of the reviews we should talk about the completely overkill pack. Yes, we definitely should. Yeah. So this, um, I don't think it's even viewable in the DLC anymore. Does I don't see it. No, you can't get it uh, anymore. Uh, so actually, that's no, it's, the it's, it's not even didn't include in my it's, list. It's not even available. Yes, uh, this was something that wasn't proper DLC. I don't even remember when this was. Can't have been a year ago. So it must have been a few months ago. Uh, yeah, it the it was at the same time as the Overkill pack, which was the sixth of March. 2015. Okay, so it's March time. Yeah. Uh, the completely overkill pack. I don't exactly remember what was in it. I know there was. Um, it was released at the same time as the overkill pack, and despite the names being incredibly similar, they're not at all related. Yeah, I think people thought if they bought the completely overkill pack, it would include the overkill pack, and it didn't. That's uh, what I thought as well. To be not when I bought yeah, it, but originally. To be fair, they never they never promised that, but it's just bad bad naming, really. Yeah. 
Um, the overkill pack is just a standard gun pack. I think it changes the skin of the van. It includes guns oh, yeah. like the uh, minigun and the RPG. Mm-hmm. And gives you that little commissar hat. That's right, yeah. So it's it's your standard payday pack. A, a van skin, a hat, two uh, two or three guns. That's Two or three guns that, by the way, do not fit into a heisting gun. No, why you take a minigun in on a, some sort of stealth run? I don't know. Then again, why you take a bow? Yeah. Or pff, shurikens, it, because that's obviously what people think of when they think <laughs> of bank heists. It does feel like they're just stretching out for ideas of different types of guns they can sell us, basically. And the the gauge chivalry pack is still the worst to date on that. Oh. The the western pack was pretty bad, but the chivalry pack that's just a false crossover. But we're we're getting off the yeah. point. The the completely overkill pack. Carry on. The completely overkill pack was I think was it twenty four ninety nine. Was it really that much? I, it was either twenty four ninety nine or nineteen ninety nine. It was expensive. It wasn't. Um, I need to check that. So we'll yeah, I'm just googling some it. Some wrong information here. It was oh, it was the spring break hype train. Right. Was yeah. when it came out. Nineteen ninety nine dollars. There you go. So actually, it was probably what fifteen pounds for us. Yeah, I think it was fifteen. So we we did get that slightly over there, but yeah, about fifteen pounds, which is still quite a lot of money. It's more than it's about the same price as the full game when I bought it. It's more than any other DLC or anything like that, and it doesn't actually really contain any content. It's uh... it comes with four masks, which are mega versions of the original four heisters masks. Yeah. So they're sort of glowing ones, and at the time, glowing ones with particle effects was only available in um, the infamous ones. Yeah. Which are special masks you unlock by levelling up. Yeah, so it's those lovely glowing masks. I mean, they are cool, but are they cool? They are cool, but to be honest, you'd only ever use the one with the character you play. Yeah. So I I only ever wear Mega Wolf. Yeah, I've only ever used the Hoxton one. So they're of limited use. There is also a, a super secret, unannounced kind of cosmetic item, which is yet to come. They keep promising it soon, and it keeps sort of... Being Apparently, prepared. that's going to be showing up this crime fest. Apparently. We'll see. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't really say exactly what, but it says the secret content will be released this crime fest. Yeah. But that could be anything in the next week, at, at any point in the next week. Yeah. So at the moment, at time of recording, all there is is a safe in the background. That's right. And we're waiting to be able to open it and see what our super secret item is. And And apparently, according to to the the wiki page, there are 25 possible items and we each get one. It better be good. That's all I'm going to say. It had better (laughs) be good. I mean, you're probably thinking, you're the idiots. Why would you have spent that much money on a pack that you knew was just four mega masks of which you'll use one. And yeah. Well, Ev- Evan and I have different reasons for this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give my reason first because it is worse <laughs> and then yours will sort of pick it up. Okay. I like limited edition stuff. I like sort of one offs and rare things. And as I intended to do a series on this at the time, I really wanted to be able to show off an awesome wolf mask. And I'd, I'd probably only have worn it in like one heist or something. But the wolf mask plus plus whatever the secret thing is, uh, I would have loved to be able to show off on the series. Now, Evan has a much better reason for this, a much nicer reason for this. So go ahead and, and make me look bad. <laughs> I suppose so. I mean, I agree with you. I'm, I'm a sucker for limited edition stuff and whatever as well. But my reasoning that tipped me over the edge of buying it was that at that time, I was still an Overkill fan. And I was still a big fan of this game. It's my most played game. I really wanted to support it. I wanted to make sure that other content came out in future. And they kind of marketed this completely overkill pack as a donation. They said, mm-hmm. look, you're not really buying anything with this money. You're donating £15, $20, whatever it is, to help us out, to help us to continue to create good content. And you'll sort of get some free stuff down the line. And as a bonus, we'll chuck in this item and this mask and whatever. So yeah. that's kind of why I've done it. I thought, all right, then that sounds fair. I'll, you know, I've, I've paid however much I paid for the game, about fifteen pounds. I've got five hundred hours out of the game. Um, it's about time, you know. I feel like I can give something back here, keep the game going, help the community. So it was mm. that kind of positive attitude. It, it was like a Kickstarter donation or 
something like that. Yeah. However. However. (laughs) (laughs) Following on from that, I think a lot of people, and not just people that bought the Completely Overkill pack, but perhaps especially people that bought that pack, um, are starting to feel a bit let down because... Of, it's just so money grabbing. Yeah, <laughs> Since they, that point, they've they've tried every way they can to get more money off of their fan base, and they don't need to. They, this is the thing. This is the depressing thing about this whole situation. Payday has one of the most active fan bases of any game I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, CS:GO they have the whole esports thing. TF2 they've been going for like ten years, but Payday has the most active one that is still growing. And isn't that that is a game that can still evolve because there is still a lot of stuff that they promised that they still haven't done, but I'm sure we'll come back to that in a sec. Yes, yeah. The 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 problem with it is after Payday Payday One had genius marketing. They had uh, an ARG, which is uh, an augmented reality game, which is basically they interacted with the community for in-game things. And what that was was the big secret of Payday One. It was a secret vault in one of the levels and you had to uh through the dlc levels work out a series of clues and there was a massive thing about this and some of the players were immortalized in the game for working this out and they said that there will be a similar thing in payday 2 which has so far been not revealed with that uh with the the whole largest steam group thing and all of these events like hype train which is massively overused now crime fest all of this stuff, it set the scene for an incredibly um, symbiotic, is that the right word? Relationship between the developers and the the players? Yeah. In a way that I've never seen with a developer. I mean, there have been some that have been good with the players, but this was just out there amazing with the players. And then they shat on it (laughs) by releasing endless DLC Massively overcharging, uh, for these things, in my opinion. Uh, releasing heists that cost, like, a, a very popular opinion with the dentist ones was they should have released the dentist pack, where you buy it at one point for uh, maybe like eight pounds or something, and then all of the dentist heists were released for, uh, as part of that pack. Yeah, I would agree with, with that opinion. I think four ninety nine for one heist. I know they're presumably quite expensive to develop and to make, but from a consumer point of view, paying four ninety nine for what is just one more mission. Hmm. You know, it soon wears thin. You play it two or three times and then you know it. So then it's yeah. just another one of the heists. You know, four ninety nine for that is a lot of money. Considering that maybe what, ten, fifteen came with the original game? Yeah. For about ten, fifteen pounds. That's a pound per heist, not five. They they just took complete advantage of their devoted fan base and it's a massive waste. If they'd been good, if they'd been better with it, they'd have had they'd have kept their devoted fan base as it is with this microtransaction thing. They've gone on the he- uh, completely turned around something they previously said. And I believe we have a quote. Yeah, um, I mean, really, with with this problem, I think um, the DLCs have been piling up for a while. The fan base has been getting more and more anxious about the money grabbing. So Mm. they reached out for a response from Overkill. Lots of people were saying, is it going to come to the level of microtransactions? Saying this is like a worst case thing. Really worried about it, saying, I really hope it doesn't get to this. And so there's actually two quotes from developers from Overkill, one current, one former, um, where they've responded to the question, is there going to be microtransactions in Payday 2? And um, the first is by Almir Listo, who is still on the team. Is he the lead developer? He's... I assume he's the lead developer. He's sort of been all over the place. Yeah, so. he's certainly the, the name you see in relation to Overkill. Yeah, And um, so he was writing uh, a little post about updating the Steam page for Payday 2 and all of this. It's in May 2013, so a little while ago, but nevertheless, he said it. And he said, we've made it clear that Payday 2 will have no microtransactions whatsoever. Shame on you if you thought otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually what he oh, says. 
And I've, that is the damning bit. It's so bad, isn't it? I've been trying to find the original post, and it looks like it might have been deleted. But people yeah, have... Um, it, it's well documented. People have uploaded it onto all the forums again. It's on various uh, gaming journalism articles and things like that. So it, mm. it's definitely something that, that has been said. Uh, and a month after that, uh, again, asked about microtransactions being added to the game, uh, a man called David Goldfarb, who is apparently the departed lead designer, so I'm not entirely sure of his role, but he, he was a member of the Overkill team, and he just said very bluntly, no, no, God, I hope not, never, no. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was that was his quote, and that was in response to a question from I think it's from Gamespot. So the the article on their site still exists where he says that. And yeah, so you've got these two very blunt, very to the point, and even kind of a bit sarky and, <laughs> and a bit with a bit of attitude quotes yeah. that that are telling us that they never plan to add microtransactions, and obviously they've turned around on their word. Which, I mean, people change their mind, but I think the general feeling in the community is, is betrayed. Yeah. And you don't, you don't have to buy into the Payday 2 one, but I think it's the, the combination of saying they won't do this, then doing it. Mm. Um, the whole sort of mounds of DLC, we've already put loads of our money into Payday 2, and now yeah. they want more. And finally, is the fact that they, they promise content that they then don't deliver anyway. Yes, that we we needed to come on to that, didn't we? Yeah. They've been promising the safe house customization since since it was released as far as I know. Yeah. I mean, it, when you first launched the game, when you first bought it, it took you to this safe house as like a tutorial. Mm. And within that, there were suggestions that you would expand out straight from the start. And that has, they've never come back to that. They keep talking about it every so often. It's like, oh, yes, we're working on it. Or, oh, we think this thing's more important right now. Yeah. In other words, adding John useless bloody wick. Yeah. I think that's the difference in opinion. They've decided that stuff like the safe house customization that they promised can be sidetracked in favor of a deal with the John Wick film or whatever. Mm. Um, whereas in our eyes, they should be finishing off things that they've promised to us before they're sort of asking for more money for other content. This is just reminding me of something. I'll say this while I remember. Uh, another thing that they promised ages ago, I think this was also back in last Crime Fest, was the FBI files. And they've finally been uh, given to us. And to be honest, I was really quite disappointed. I was yeah. expecting something other than just in-game stat tracking. Yeah. I was expecting, like, backgrounds and information and stuff. But it does bring up an interesting issue. <laughs> There's a website called pd2stats.com. Yeah, it's essentially served as the FBI files for free before Overkill released them. And granted, the FBI files are free, but considering how big a deal they've made of it and how long they took to provide them, yeah. uh, I'm not inclined to be very charitable. Yeah, and it's kind of got this, this moral, this ethical uh, negative side to it because they've released this FBI files and they've essentially shut down the team that were doing the pd2stats.com so if you actually go to that website now there's a uh, there's a page it's just a text document yeah it, it's basically just a, a wall of text yeah broken up with space yeah it's it's worth the read we're not going to go into the details now but essentially it, it wasn't that they directly shut it down it's that they promised they'd work with it and and uh, not make it obsolete, include the guy in the creation of the FBI files because it was similar, uh, and they just completely blanked him and never spoke to him, and he ended up having to shut it down because it cost too much. Yeah, he was paying for the hosting and, and everything, and I imagine that comes to quite a lot when you've got a, a service that size. And by the yeah. end, I think he said 20 people were still using it. And, I, I mean, I... I, I don't think I ever used it because I just, I never got that into payday to, to warrant stat tracking. And uh, maybe that's why I'd, I'm not too keen on the FBI files, but it's another example of overkill screwing their fan base, or at least a dedicated fan who created uh, a stat track system for a game he loved. Yeah. I think, um, you know, legally and everything, overkill are completely within their rights. This is a, a non-related fan based 
creation and service and nothing to do with them. But yeah, they have this this view. They try and put it out there that they work with their community. That they've got the best community ever. Mm. That we're always working with them. We're doing their challenges they set, and they're giving us stuff in return. And it just seems like that image is a lie. Yeah, they seem very happy to turn on their fans when it when it benefits them to do so. The overall problem I have with Overkill and Payday is very similar to the problem I have with Games Workshop. Uh, as some of you know, I can't remember how much I've talked about this. I used to be really into Games Workshop. I had a uh, a blog, which is still up, where I wrote backstories for my armies, because I was really into it. I have a lot of different uh, armies, and I still occasionally paint them, but Games Workshop has lost my loyalty because they've been making so many questionable decisions so many money grabbing things increasing their prices so many decisions like that i won't go into them all that's a whole round video of its own but the parallels between that and overkill and payday it was a dedicated loyal fan base that they've squeezed for money so much that they're now bleeding fans and from the way the community has reacted to this update I'm going to guess they're doing this they're, they're in the same situation they're going to bleed fans. I I don't I don't know how they're going to be able to come back from this. Yeah. Especially not in my eyes. Yeah, we're still waiting for a response from Overkill as a community. I think um they've tweeted yesterday to say something along the lines of thanks for your feedback. We'll <laughs> we'll consider it or something like that. I, yeah. I don't think they can delete this system because people by now will have paid for drills and paid for weapons. And well, it's so... like the paid mods. They did a paid mods this thing at Skyrim, didn't they? Bethesda and Skyrim. They they had that briefly, or was it just proposed? I'm I thought it was not actually sure. institu- I remember it being controversial at the time, but I I think they actually imposed it, and then they ended up refunding people. Yeah, I don't know if something like that will happen here, but. We are waiting to see what their response will be, and I think that'll affect how we uh, how we have our attitudes to the game in the future and whether we continue mm. to play. So at the moment, I don't know whether there's going to be a co-op payday two. If the microtransaction thing stays, if they make no apology, if basically they don't learn their lesson, then there just won't be a co-op payday two because I can't endorse it. Yeah, it and it doesn't deserve the publicity. Yeah, I would agree. And I think for anybody who doesn't own Payday 2, or even anybody that does, any sort of people that are interested in Payday 2 that are watching this that are either considering buying it in the sale, because it is on sale at the moment, which is a bit sneaky, really, or uh, <laughs> or buying more of the DLC or anything like that, I would just say be very clear in your mind how far you want to go with this. Mm. Don't give them reason to continue to rip us off. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy the game or that you shouldn't buy DLC. I'd just say don't be one of these sort of sheep that follow everybody else, buy everything, and, and agree with it. Don't be somebody that's sticking up for this system. Because, it well, unless you honestly think that it is an okay system. But don't be somebody that's just trying to be loyal to Overkill, because then they're not going to, to get, you know, they're not going to get this yeah. message that what they're doing is wrong. Because we were loyal to Overkill. And we've just been punched in the face for it. And we're out of money uh, with the the donation pack. I don't know whether... I, well, I highly doubt that the return will be anywhere near as good as they promised. Yeah, and I think by the time we get it, I'm not really going to be that interested in playing with it anyway after this. Yeah. So it's possible... I, it, it, we, sh- we should say this for fairness. It is possible they could do a complete turnaround. It's possible they could realise they've gone too far... But in fairness is fairness sake, I don't know what that means, but whatever, they're not going to stop the DLCs. The DLC, if, if they did do a turnaround, apologize for the microtransactions, took it out and said, right, that was a step too far. We realize that now they'll go back to the DLCs because that proved to be well, well received. People kept paying for the DLC. Yeah. As long as they've got a, a, enough of a base that are still buying this stuff. Mm. then they will keep producing it. Because, I mean, they're a company. It's what they're set out to do to make money. So don't let them. That's the moral of this story. Stand up and don't 
just accept it because they're the developer. They created this game you like because, yeah, we like the game. It's, it's my, the position I've maintained throughout this entire thing is the only reason I've continued to buy DLC because I've still bought some of the, the recent stuff is because the game itself is still good. But the, the, the stuff around it is just so terrible. The practices, the, the DLCs, the money grabbing, the crossovers that don't work. They make me sad for this game being wasted. And I'd rather see, it, even if, like, they go through all of this with Payday 2, and it's like, alright, Payday 3, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna go more back to Payday 1 standards of, like, limiting content. They're, I mean, they're obviously gonna cut out a lot of characters when they go to Payday 3, because they can't start the, the, the game with, like, 20 characters, or however, however many fuck there are now. That's a discussion for another day. Any any final words on on this uh, beyond the ones we've we've just said? No, not really. Just don't be a sucker. <laughs> be 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 sensible with your buying of DLCs and things. Yeah. So um, I think that about wraps it up. This this could all be obsolete in in a week or a few days if they do a retraction or whatever. But if that is the case, if they do happen to go back on it, congratulations, community. You've you've you'll have convinced the developer that they're not god. Yeah, absolutely. If this if this video now seems stupid because, you know, it's not the case anymore, then that is only a good thing. That means yeah. that by speaking out against it and by the community, you know, posting these negative reviews and uh, tweeting Almir and all the stuff that people are doing, it means that it's worked. So we can only hope. We can. So hopefully, when you're watching this, we sound like idiots. That would be fun. <laughs> that would. <laughs> So th this was a very different G-Log. Uh, to be honest, I would love to do these kinds of things more because this was great fun, just talking through a thing in gaming these days. Yeah, it's something we do all the time. Yeah. We, we'll just we sit just, like this for a whole night just talking about games. and We just never record yeah. it. And if this is the sort of thing that interests you, if you like our opinions and, and, and the way we present these things, please tell us in the comments. Give us your thoughts on this whole Payday thing. If you're a diehard Payday fan... Um, don't abuse us. We love it too. Yeah, we are <laughs> we are payday fans. That's why I did a series on it. We did a series on it. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. Thank you, Evan, for for joining me in this. It's okay. Thank you for having me. I do like a good rant. <laughs> yeah, so do I. <laughs> yeah, we 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 could be back for more if um if you enjoy this. So thank you very much and catch you later. Bye.